Oh my god, you... <laughs> Come on, man. You... You... You knew exactly what you were doing here. I'm not gonna say I didn't like it, though. Alright guys, you know what time it is. We're gonna look through some art today. We're gonna end some careers. We're gonna break some hearts. It's gonna be a good time. So first of all, thank you to everybody who submitted their work to the hashtag SamRoastMe4. You guys are very brave for sacrificing your souls, your bodies, your physical and mental well-being for the entertainment of the masses. With that being said, we're going to show you guys no mercy today. Okay, so right off the bat, guys, amazing work. Look at the lighting. Look at this little handsome man with a handsome pet. Very nice. And then I come down to stuff like this. Anyways, I'm gonna pretend I didn't see that. That's me when I'm about to do one of these videos. All right, let's go. Here's our first victim. You're trying to stylize. I get that, you know, you're playing around with the proportions a little bit, but you still want to keep in mind that the eyes sit on this one single curved line. And this eye, I feel like is sliding down a little bit too much. The eye is like going places, but good job with the lighting and everything. Oh my goodness, that is terrifying. This is cool. You know, I like that you uh, went for the shading and everything. You got an interesting little background in there. But f like, this is what I said in my previous Previous video about realism you know you kind of want to know the general proportions of the human face before you try to go too crazy with the stylization because you've got a very large chin which is also uh, pointing towards one side of the face so it's not completely centered you know there's just a lot of proportional things you want to look out for I'm gonna link my how to draw faces video below once again for you guys my goodness look at this man what is this I hate Instagram compressing the quality of my art. They can't really compress it if there's no quality to begin with. But you, you set me up with that caption though. I had to take it. I had to do it. <laughs> okay, so this is interesting. I usually tell people, you gotta put a little bit more contrast in your paintings. I can't tell what's going on. If you turn this thing black and white, it's gonna all blend together. But this kind of works. There's this kind of art style that uses very pastel colors, you know, muted, but still vibrant. And everything kind of just blends together, but in a really visually pleasing way. So in this case, if this is your style, I mean, it it works. Not every single painting, not every single piece needs a whole lot of contrast, but I, I do like my contrast. So, you know, I like that. Okay, for a second, I thought the one on the left was your old one and the one on the right was your new one. Cause you know, we read from left to right. So I assumed that this was the old one and I was like, sheesh, you regressed. But no, it's actually the other way around. So good job. I love to see the improvement. I am very proud of you. Good job. Okay. Simple light study, three hours. I hope like it or well, you're going to be disappointed. The lighting is good. The rendering is good, but that left eye is going places. Here's a trick. Okay. So for those of you guys watching too, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover up that left eye and I'm going to try to imagine where that eye would sit on the face. Do it with me guys. Do it with me. This is how you see your mistakes. Okay. Are you imagining that eye? Can you see that eye through your fingers? You can see where it's going to sit. Okay. Now three, two, one, lift it up. Oh my Lord. Are you, you see what I'm saying here? This, that's a little trick for you. Okay. When in doubt, cover up one eye. Oh, oh, it's Paul. Y'all gotta die. But one more painting with, with my burbs. And I'm, I'm just kidding though. You can use my burbs as long as you give them back. That is a face. Not even a dog mother could love. Beautiful rendering. Look at that. Look at the lighting on the face. Look at the reflection in the windows. Look at the transparency on, on that on that container. But why you gotta be eating a donut, man? Man, put that thing down. Go for a run. Make sure you smash that like button and subscribe to my channel for more fitness tips and tricks. Six pack shortcuts. My God, what is going on here? What is going on here? Okay, but have you guys been seeing these comments? These stupid promotion stuff promoted on Whistlecraft. Okay, I've had enough of this. Let's go down a rabbit hole. 600,000 followers, but I'm gonna expose you right now, okay? Look, look at this. 142 likes, zero comments. 22.3 thousand views, zero comments. 23.4 thousand views zero comments it's all of these followers are just bots all of the views are bots nobody's commenting if 20,000 people saw a post they're gonna leave a comment don't you ever promote your art on these stupid pages because they just take artists hard-earned money back to your guys's art okay so first of all love the lighting scenario i love the dark background and this tiny little light here that's shining onto the character i love that but i think if the light is in front of the character and under her like that, it would hit a little bit more on this bottom half of the face. And it would also hit 
this area on the nose ridge. Because if you look at your face, you got a nose ridge and this part slides down. So the light is going to be catching on that surface, similar to how it's going to be catching slightly on the bottom side of your face as your face kind of rounds out to the bottom, to the chin. Ah, oh, no. Feel free to spread it. Please don't spread it. Listen, I appreciate that a lot of you guys are trying out anatomies. Good job on that. But in this specific painting, I'm not too sure where uh, this shadow is coming from. Uh, like if the lighting is coming from the right side, you would probably get it catching on that shoulder muscle right there, right? A little bit on the traps too. Uh, so this shadow is kind of distracting to me. So is his uh, unzipped fly. Like what is... <laughs> my fans are down bad. <laughs> Oh my lord, why are you looking at me like that? Forgot I never posted myself. This is a self-portrait? Oh my god, you... <laughs> oh no. Come on, man. Why you put him in such a scandalous pose? You... You... <sighs> you knew exactly what you were doing here. You ain't sneaky. I'm not gonna say I didn't like it, though. All right, guys, so this here is a case where uh, the skull has been extended a little bit too much because if you look at a skull, uh, and here is the skull of one of my enemies, the shape is very rounded, it's very oval. To fix this, it's very easy. Take like a liquify tool or something and bring the back of the head back, bring the front of the face in a little bit and just... Oh, Lord, she shook. Uh, I used the Ethan Becker technique on this one. Yeah, so this is a prime example here, guys. Do not use the Ethan Becker technique. I'm just playing, guys. Ethan Becker is a very talented man. The problem here is I think you put the upper lid of the eye way too high so that you can see the entirety of that round pupil so it looks like she is shook. You know what I'm saying? So bring that upper lid down a little bit, cover up the top portion of that pupil, and your character is gonna look more at ease, more at peace. Wonderful, fantastic, incredible lighting. Amazing, very well done. Look at that process. Look at that reference. I'm gonna save that. I might do that as a study. Tanjiro. Okay, so this is a cool piece. I want to applaud you for taking like a really dynamic angle on the character. I think what would make this even more dynamic is if you take this hand and put it behind her instead and then take this shoulder and this arm and move it even more forward but i guess you wanted to show the uh the 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 so you you couldn't really do that like twisted pose so i i guess i get it I, 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 but come on man wow that's me good job i mean i'm not i'm not that buff but <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so this is beautiful skin rendering, okay? You've got some really nice colors, looks very realistic, but what I think could push this even further is if you just added a little bit more highlights, like stronger highlights on areas such as the forehead, the, uh, the cheek, the nose, and the nose ridge, because on people with darker complexion, you tend to get even richer highlights, so you have a lot of room to play around with uh, in terms of like the reflected light from the either the key light or the ambient light. Okay, so a little bit more reflected light on the skin would take this piece even further. Oh, look at that. Trying to make my painting more stylized. I think you're doing a good job with that here. I mean, there's not much I could say about this, but maybe uh, tone it down a little bit with these uh, spiky looking little hair strands because I find them to be just a little bit distracting from the rest which is very you know nice and soft and refined maybe add a little bit more flow to these strands maybe play around with that a little bit simplify it a bit maybe but good job looking at a skull here uh, that bottom of the nose to the uh, the front of the teeth this is not going to be that big of a gap I would say liquefy and shrink that but there, it looks like you did it on paper with pencil, so uh, there's no saving that art piece now. This is, oh, come on, man. I mean, this is just unfortunate because you were not that much of a stunner to begin with, and then you did this to yourself. I'm just kidding. Really nice proportions, really good hatching on this piece. Nicely done, but I don't know why you did that to yourself still. Oh, all you couples, give me a break. Okay, so this is really stunning. Like the uh, background is so simple, but very effective. I can tell exactly what's going on. But one thing I think I want you to look out for is how far the side of the face extends. The jaw here doesn't seem to come to an end point up to the ears. Maybe you could take the liquify tool and push the face back in a little bit, but otherwise nicely done. Oh, what is, what is going on here? Did my Wi-Fi cut out? Is this cursed content? No, that's pretty good. That, that's really good. It's like a little mini game we're playing here. I don't know what I'm gonna get into. 
What the f Hang on, is this like a thing? Like, is this a character from somewhere? Why are so many people doing this? I mean, I hate this, but nicely done with the rendering and everything, it looks great. But I hate it. You've rounded out the jawline, which is good, okay? You've ended the jaw, but it's not connecting to the ear. So if I were to connect the bottom of this ear to the jawline, it would be way, way too long. Okay, look at my ear. Look at that jaw, see where it rounds out and then goes back up to the ear. It's not that long, okay? So bring that jawline up a little bit, bring that ear down a little bit and it'll look much better. Bro. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is nightmare fuel. Oh no. Uh, this is scary, she looks like a Titan. This is what I'm doing to you guys right now. That's a really cool looking character design. So I don't know if this is what you're going for. Like maybe the top part of the body is pushed back a little bit too much. Maybe not enough. Maybe the this is coming down a little bit too much, but something seems a, a little bit, little bit off in that upper torso area. I'm not gonna judge. Look, everybody's built different, okay? This does not look appropriate. Ooh, look at that. That's really nice. That's nice. I like the rendering. I like the stylization. The lighting looks great. I mean, if you want to make your character look even more expressive, you could uh, shrink the forehead a little bit and make the eyes even bigger. But I think this looks uh, really good. So good job on that. Oh, what the heck? That is a nice shirt. Okay, so I like the anime style. I like that you're going for a more pastel look. So I'm not going to tell you to push your contrast. But I think if you added a bit more highlight in the hair, it could look a lot more three dimensional. And I think that if you could take these sketch lines, polish them up so that there's not a crazy amount of repetition, the piece could look a lot more sharp, a lot more striking. So put some highlights on the hair, refine the sketch lines, and I think you're good. Ooh, 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 ooh. Really nice, good job. Come on, man. Oh, look at that. More couples doing coupley things. <laughs> what in the world? Oh my good, oh my, oh my, oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, you did a good job capturing the reference. I mean, but the reference is, oh my Lord. <laughs> I didn't see nothing. I didn't see nothing. I don't see it. No, 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 I don't. <laughs> No, 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 close it, close it, close it, close it, close it, no. All right, that's it for this episode of me roasting you. Thank you to all of you guys who put your work in here, put your life on the line for the entertainment of the people. Once again, I just wanna say that I'm very proud of you guys for putting your work out there, for doing what you're doing. And honestly, I've seen some insanely good pieces scrolling through here. If I didn't get to your work for this one, don't worry, we're gonna do more of these in the future. But thank you guys so much for joining. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Uh, some of the tips that I gave to these people can also be implemented into your work as well. So learn from other people's mistakes. So with that being said, if you wanna see more digital art content just like this, feel free to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it was entertaining for you. We'll do this again soon. And the next hashtag may or may not be Sam Roast Me 5. You never know. All right, good job. Get out of here. The video is over. Take it easy.